How we doing everyone? Welcome. So we're back on the bank. Um, gonna do a couple of nights and then uh, see how we get on. I'll show you around the swim. Let you have a look. Just bear with me. Oh, right, this is a swim called the Birches. So I'll show you this way, look. You see? Not got the baby up yet. Let me uh, turn you around. Got to around. So it's a good swim. I got all my stuff there. I had to lighten all my stuff down. But uh, I'll show you around here. So there's a little bit of water around this side. Kind of like around there. And then put my bed right back here so I'll put me me brolly up and then this part of the swim here I've got one out on the island one out over there might put one over there don't know yet I'll decide as it goes this is us for now yeah so fingers crossed and hopefully it'll go well um, get one out on our on the new wall that would be brilliant I need to get me brolly up I've gone in here because apparently it's going to be hot I do feel quite cold right now though but I've got all my clothes so um, and we're going to rigs and things later on as well so fingers crossed Oh, sit back down. Just sitting on the bed chilling as you do. Feeling comfortable. Just see a guy have a small one just over the other side there. But it's all a bit new to me this water so people seem to know the little hot spots and it's learning them what's what's a good spot, what's not. But we'll get there, we'll get there. We've got one on a pop-up rig um, using the it's a mainline pop-up, the IB. Um, it's been gooed up though with uh, some Scopex as well, like Scopex goo. And I've got one on a, a wafter I, uh, IB, and I'm just matching the hatch basically. So the baits I'm putting out is pretty much the bait on the hook. Uh, just a few boilies scattered around it for the time being, literally like 20, 10, 20 in the area and we'll see how that goes but I will keep you informed How we doing everyone? Welcome back. Um, yeah, just uh, got the trap set now. I've actually changed my spot. I came off the island that I showed you earlier and I've moved one to the left because I saw some fish sort of just cruising around in the lilies over there. A lot of the fish are just sunbathing at the moment. The sun's just dipped behind a bit of cloud which is nice. I feel like my feet are burning. Um, so with a bit of luck we might have a few. There's a few mooching around for sure. So, um, like I say, with a bit of luck, we can have a couple. Oh, let's get a grab this. Saw me mate today. Brought his dog over. I was going to film it, but because it's a bit sensitive in the old social distancing, we did keep our distance to be fair. Uh, but don't want anyone getting funny. What's going on here? Look okay. So. Fingers crossing, and hopefully we'll have a couple. I'll show you the rigs and that, that I'm using and all that sort of thing. I can do that right now. What happens? Let's have a look. I'm using the trusty German rig. Um, just
just a rig that I've got faith in, one that I love. I'll show you the components and things that I use. Let me just get this rig out. And my rig bolt. So this is the rig. I don't know if you can see that. Let's have a look. So that's the rig there. German rig on Entrap Soft 15 pound. Hopefully you can see that. Put my hand there. Hopefully you did. Easy rig to tie. If you want a rig tying tutorial, then let me know. I can do that. That's no problem. Um, I have shown it in vlogs before. Um, I've got that one fishing a IB wafter from Mainland, which I'll show you. There we go. So the IB wafters from Mainland. Nice smelling the IB. Really nice smelling. It's just like a yellow. Oh, there we go. The yellow wafter. Smells so good. I'm just gonna get warm. And um, also, I've got a Ronnie rig with a Northern Special, a white one. Someone said to me, white does well on here. So let's see how the white one does. I've got Northern Special, that one's just up on the right. Um, it was funny earlier, I moved my rigs in, repositioned them, put a bit of bait on them, and then I saw two fish crash on the island. I was like, really? So I've been watching over there, it went very quiet after that. So, but fingers crossed for tonight, and I'll keep you posted. Morning all, quick update then, so I passed five this morning, um, I was fishing between the two lily beds that I set up yesterday and uh, the rod ripped off, took me through one set of lilies, I managed to sort of bring it back and then it sort of tried to dive behind me, there's like the little creek behind me and uh, took me through a massive set of lilies, game over. Um, sat there snagged up left it a couple of minutes and then as i pulled it up come the stem of a lily pad no fish so lost one that's the way it goes part of the learning curve over here bearing in mind i'm used to a water just just a big big lake no real problems with lilies or anything like that but yeah um and that's the update good for you this morning looks nice I'm fishing quite close now I'm just off the edge of the lilies on both sides so yeah fingers crossed for a bite this afternoon but we shall see hopefully it'll be decent if we can get one fingers crossed I'm gonna have some breakfast in a second I think I'll have a coffee and toast and uh, see what we can do. If it heats up like it has been, then I'll put some zigs out. Um, again, I can't rave about that German rig enough, and especially these wafters, the IB wafters, these ones, and I've got the high leakage pineapple ones as well. Both amazing, real amazing. I can't honestly rate them enough. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, we need to get some fish on the bank. Uh, not a lot coming out, so to get a bite was decent. This isn't an easy water. Um, fingers crossed, you know. Um, I did have a wife surprise, which I, anyone that watches my vlogs knows I normally do the wife surprise, but I couldn't, because my mate's dog come over yesterday and the wife surprise was Jammy Dodgers. <laughs> And I give them to the dog.
what's up everyone so going into the second night now um, what I've done is I've chucked on a couple of runny rigs just give it a go I've seen fish I've tried zigging for them I've tried um, all different things during the day it's just been so hot I mean like real hot so what I'm gonna do is I've chucked on a couple of white ones um, I'm using the milky toffee from uh, mainline I do like my mainline baits as you know um, so we've put the milky toffees on we've put them out over a bed of one's got a bed of a uh, scopex squid strange combo I know but um, the idea is draw the fish in obviously the white bait in comparison to the rest of the bait it's very pale and one's over the IBs so again from mainline they're like a yellow in colour here we go like a yellowy I don't know if you can see that like a yellowy sort of colour um, we'll give that a go um, I had a good friend come down he showed me and told me I've had another friend on the phone who've both fished this lake and done okay on here to be fair so the fish ain't feeding at the moment, they're just sunbathing, they're catching the last bit of the sun, the sun's sort of coming real low now, so um, I'll try and show you, but the glare's going to be quite quite bright. That's the one that's sitting over the scopex, if you can see the two sets of lilies come in, like this, and then we're right in the middle of that, quite, quite tight to the island, it's about two and a half foot of water there, but I've seen fish there, you can see the fish sort of plopping around, and I've got one just down off these lilies here about half a rod length off the end of them lilies so fingers crossed for that one as well so fingers crossed um bit of a rough vlog for the first one but we'll see how we get on hopefully we can put fish on the bank and show you guys a fish that'd be decent uh rather than me just talking at you um but we'll see what happens any sort of uh updates i'll let you know i mean this this lake is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, what a lake, probably one of the best lakes I've fished looking wise. It's got like all the, the willow fuzz on it at the moment, but if you look, well, when I look further up the lake, there's none up there. And it looks amazing, honestly, absolutely amazing. So we will unlock this lake, it might take a few trips. Uh, one guy down the bottom, he's had a couple of small ones and lost one as you know we lost one so we'll see what happens keep our fingers crossed for tonight i think like i say i've got the two rods on a ronnie rig at the moment um fixed it with the stiff boom which is the iq that um what's it called oh uh, yes yeah, it's, it's their um fluorocarbon their stiff fluorocarbon but I'm using uh, the fin version, the 12 pound version. That's enough for me to kick kick the hook and everything away. But not enough to, you know, just be like this. It's got a little bit of flexibility, which is what I like. I like the thinner look and the, the little bit of flexibility it gives me. And I've got that on a lead clip with a bit of tubing. Tubing's only sort of so long. A couple of bits of putty on the tubing just to make sure that tubing lays down I don't want the tubing coming up like that off the bottom and that's quite heavy that tubing that's from ESP good good tubing that um, it's like a tan color because on the bottom here you've got sand so there's sort of sandbars up by the island there's sand out to my left there's sand which gives you a bit of a strange drop actually you'd think sand would be quite solid when it's wet but it gives you quite a soft drop but when you drag the, drag the lead back over it there's nothing now and uh, I was talking to a mate and he said yeah that's probably sand so we'll see you'd think like wet sand would give a concrete drop but for some reason it's, it's not doing that but that's the update so far so um, we'll see what happens sun's starting to dip away now which is a welcome relief can tell you I've been cooking in here as the sun sort of come over all day I've been fine and as the sun come over started melting me burning my arms and so yeah we'll see plenty of fish about um, I'm hoping for one hopefully they get a bit hungry and want to get on our food 
So good stuff. Right, catch you in a bit. morning campus so a quiet night a um, couple of big sort of swirls over my bait at the moment tried to capture it but I don't think I did um, especially off the island I've seen a couple of fish but yeah pretty quiet we'll see I mean I had a bite at half past five yesterday morning the one I lost um, so we'll see what happens at half past five this morning. Hopefully that'll be sort of bite time, fingers crossed. But we're going to start the pack down and uh, see see how we get on. I know it's a bit of a rough vlog this time, first time vlogging properly for a while. So, but they'll get better. They'll get better. Right. I'm going to uh, have a cup of coffee and I'll speak to you shortly. <laughs> 